Troopers to blame manipulated someone here in Claremont County in a way that created a path for the criminal activity to occur. Six months ago, officials who run the West Claremont School District discovered that a so-called threat actor had swiped $1.7 million using a technique known as social engineering. Possibly from a social engineering standpoint, someone got some kind of phishing email, text, something like that, clicked a link, and then entered their credentials in a bogus website, which then allowed them to get into the bank. That's one way cybersecurity expert Dave Hatter says the district's cash could have disappeared. Because the investigation is ongoing, district officials waited until last night to publicly acknowledge what happened. They say the threat actor managed to divert payments West Claremont schools owed a vendor to bank accounts the vendor doesn't own. Hatter, who's not part of the investigation, doubts the bad guys had specific reasons to target the district aside from opportunity and greed. They probably didn't think, I think we'll attack the West Claremont School District today. My guess is either there was a data breach that they found data that was useful to them somewhere else and then they targeted them or, as is often the case, they're just running tools looking for vulnerabilities out there. They're just scanning. And they say, oh, you have vulnerability X. Let's see what we can do with this. Hatter is glad school officials are making sure the public is aware of what went down. I get that it's uncomfortable, it's embarrassing, it's a black eye. To me, you're doing society a solid by reporting this stuff. It's helping people understand that these attacks are real. Yeah, West Claremont school leaders say no personally identifiable information was compromised in this cyber attack. The same goes for student education records. Uh, not clear tonight if the district will be able to recover the $1.7 million that's now missing, though officials here say they're trying to make that happen. Reporting live here this evening in Union Township, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Todd, thanks so much. By the way, the district telling...